Mavericks 5H lefters Pitarakis, AP file, Slovenia's Luka Donic reacts during their Eurobasket European Basketball Championship semi-final match against Spain in Istanbul, Thursday, Sept. 142,017. AP photo, lefter S. Pitarakis by Eddie Sefko, stat writer at Sefko Eddie Sefko, Mavericks beat writer for SportsDFW.com and the Dallas Morning News, answered your questions about the team in a live chat recently. Here are some highlights, where would you put the chances that either Julius Randle, Jabari Parker or Aaron Gordon is on the Mavericks roster next season on a big deal their respective team didn't want to match? Sefko, I'd say the odds are pretty decent, actually. The Mavericks have said they are going to use their cap space and if they see an opportunity for one of those guys, I think they would pounce. I'd rate the chances better for Parker and Gordon. I just have a hard time believing the Lakers are going to part with Randall, unless it's part of a sign and trade to get LeBron to LA. Is it smart for the Mavs to still be interested in Demarcus Cousins even after his Achilles injury? Could they get him at a discount? Sefko, they thought maybe they'd get Wesley Matthews at a discount, too but that ended up costing them essentially a max contract at the time. Cousins is going to get paid a boatload of money by somebody, I still wonder about his knuckleheadedness, but I wondered about that with Jerry Stackhouse, too, and he came to Dallas and laid the framework that now has him positioned to be one of the hot young coaches in the NBA. This can change, and the Mavericks have a way of muzzling loose cannons. All that said, I'd rather have one of the big guys in this year's draft, Aiton, Bomber Bagley, to work with for a young, rebuilding team. Who's going to make the finals from the East? The Cavs had to fight just to make it out of the first round. Sefko, in spite of what they looked like Monday, the Sixers to me still have the best shot at getting out of the East. I'm not sure the Raptors can beat the Cavaliers. That series wouldn't surprise me either way. LeBron James is playing so well right now that the Cavaliers are a threat even without a lot of horses around him. Toronto has the best overall team, although they are a bit thin on the bench. Even the Celtics think they have a shot at getting out of the East. This is my way of saying that it's wide open over there. But if you're asking for my pick, I'm taking the Sixers. Trust the process. Unless Al Horford continues to do everything at a remarkably high level, I just don't see the Celtics hanging with the Sixers. Who will the Mavs' best player be next year, Harrison Barnes, DSJ or whoever they draft? Sevco, it won't be the draft pick. Whoever that is could be every bit as solid as, say, Jason Tatum. But even he's not the Celtics' best player, Al Horford is. The only player from the 2017 draft class who turned out to be his team's best player was Donovan Mitchell, so it can happen. Just not very often. My instincts tell me that Smith is going to become the Mavericks' most indispensable player next season. His scoring might not be tops on the team, but in terms of everything he does, he's going to be the anchor. If the Mavs end up with Luka Doncic, what position do you see him playing? Sevko, shooting guard, with the ability to slide to small forward. But positions these days are getting so blurred that it's hard to tell one from the other, teams are switching so much defensively that players have to be able to guard multiple positions. It would be a good problem to have because my sources in Europe tell me the kid is going to be really good. You wrote earlier this week about how LeBron's decision could affect the Mavs roster. Which of those scenarios do you think is the most likely? Sevco, whichever team doesn't win the title, Houston or Philadelphia. I could see him joining either one. The Sixers could learn a thing or two from LeBron about what it really takes to win, although they seemed to have learned quite a bit about that so far this season. Then again, the Lakers are the Lakers. If they have any chance at getting him, they will find a way. That would mean sacrificing some good players along the way. It will all depend on LeBron. But if LA is calling, it'll be hard for him to resist. Click here to view the full chat transcription. Twitter, at Asefco.